I'm not feeling the, the subtleness of this one. This is more my speed. So it's pretty much gonna be a first impressions. I did not go into the store to like play with any of the samples or anything like that. So I haven't really seen in person what the colors look like compared to the website. These blushes are soft pinch luminous powder blushes, which is supposed to be a combination of the Rare Beauty blush and the highlighter combined into one. The website describes it as medium coverage, lightweight, glowy, buildable, and seamless. And it is a pressed powder. So let's talk about the pricing and the shade range. So these retail for $26 on the Sephora website. These blushes come in six colors. They describe Cher as a light warm pink, Hope as a nude mauve, Happy as a cool pink, Truth as a mauve maroon, love as a terracotta, and joy as a muted peach. So I initially ordered two shades, which I have here, which was joy and truth. Looking at the product page on Sephora's website, I was a little bit confused with the colors, trying to decide like which ones I actually wanted to buy. It really looks like an orange kind of color. And then love looks pink on the website. And Truth is like the darkest pink shade that they have. So I was trying to find the darker shades that would complement my skin tone. Normally for blushes, I go for more of an orange color and then pink if I have something on like this today. Once we go to the lighter colors, they would look a little more like highlighters on my skin tone. Through seeing videos of some people swatching the blushes, I realized that Love was actually a darker orange than Joy. I do have the Rare Beauty Melting Blush, and right off the back, this packaging has a glossy finish to it, and this one is a matte finish, and it's actually bigger, quite bigger than the Melting Blush. So let's get into the swatches. So here is Joy. You can see how it has this nice pearlescent kind of sheen to it. Let's watch. Oh, it's nice and soft. It's really soft. All right. So this is Joy, which is the muted peach. Then we have Love, which is the terracotta. Apparently this is everyone's favorite. Then we have Truth, which is a mauve maroon color. So here are the three swatches. These are very pigmented. So I'm excited to see how they're gonna look when I actually try them on. So on the website, this is the color that I thought would have been more orangey, but it's kind of giving more highlighter, which tells me if I went, if I had got any of the other three, they would have looked more of a highlighter, more like highlighters on my skin tone. This is more of the shade that I initially wanted when I first ordered it. So if you are looking for that like peachy kind of tone to go with your blushes, with your blushes, <laughs> this is um, love that you want. And then this deeper pink is different. I feel like usually we get the lighter pinks like probably happy, but I definitely thought this was different and it would probably pair nicely over this, the liquid blush, um, Faith. This is Faith, the purple one. That's what first came to mind when I saw, when I saw Truth, that pairing those two would probably look really nice together. So now for the fun part, I'm going to do Joy on one side and Love on the other so we can see a different in this pigmentation since these are both the orange shades. I have an angled I have an angled blush brush that is more dense, and then I have a fluffier um, blush brush. So we'll try with the dense one first, but I already have a feeling this is gonna be much better. Let's go with Love first. Right now, Love is kind of giving Highlighter-ish. It's very pretty. Now, one thing to note, because it is luminous, 
her last hint. Um, it is going to pick up texture. I have very dry skin and also eczema that's acting up right now as the weather is changing. I can see how it would accentuate texture in that area. But this looks so, the shine is so like natural though. Sometimes like highlighter could be like really harsh and in your face, but this just gives like a glowy, a very glowy natural dewy finish i don't know if this color is picking up on my skin tone though like i see it but it's giving more highlight than blush let's try love to see if a pigment is there for me i'm using this side on a fluffier brush all right so right off the bat before i even continue to blend this in you see the color. Now, because this is more pigmented, I'm definitely working this in more than I did this side. All right, so this side is giving more blush, and this side is giving more just like luminous, dewy. And I really thought I was gonna love love because. It was the deeper orange, but now I think I, I think I'm liking joy a lot more. Like I just feel like my cheekbones are way more elevated with joy. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave love on and then I'm going to take joy off and then we're going to go in with the truth. I've reapplied my foundation and set it on this side. So now we're going to go in with Truth, which is the darkest pink. I'm smiling because I'm already loving this color. Like when I want a pink blush or pink like highlighter, this is what I'm talking about. Like I, this is what I need by like pigmentation. This is so pretty. Like this is really soft, but I like a little bit of extra something. Like I wanna, I like to see my makeup. I'm not feeling the, the subtleness of this one. This is more my speed. In the comments, let me know which one you guys like more. Truth? Or love. So let's talk about the differences in the Rare Beauty blushes. So everybody knows about their liquid blushes, which is the most pigmented of the three. And then you have the melting blushes, which are buildable and good for applying with your fingers. So you would warm up the product and then apply this is a more creamy kind of share formula. And then now we have the luminous blushes. So this is actually their first powder blush. So you can see how they compare. So what I really want to do now that I see these next to each other, I really want to put the liquid and layer it with one of the luminous blushes. I've removed love on this side because I just really want to play in layering the two blushes to see what kind of effect that I get. So I'm going in with Faith, which is their liquid blush in purple. I'm If you can't tell, I just love anything with pigment. Just being of darker skin, it's so hard to find products that the color that's shown on the website actually shows up on your skin tone when you try it on. I can't tell you how many times in the past that I've bought products only for it to absolutely not show up, like not even a little bit. So when we get color, we're gonna we are gonna wear it. So now I want to layer, I want to layer truth on top of it. So 
So it definitely added to the pigment. So this is laid on top of the liquid blush and this is by itself. The different techniques and colors are gonna give you a different result. I like this, I like pigment. I want you to see when I'm wearing color. So that is liquid the liquid blush with the luminous blush layered. Joy is going to be a go-to for me for an everyday kind of look. I really liked how this looks luminous without too much pigment. I thought I wanted more pigment with the orange, but I'm enjoying this a lot more. And love, I don't know, like I kind of want to try this with the liquid blush to give it a little bit more pigment because I really do love this kind of terracotta orangey color. It's just not giving what I thought it would. If I do decide to try that out, I'll probably put it in a YouTube short. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. So if you liked today's video and you would like to see more product reviews, like this video and let me know down in the comment section. I will see you in the next one.